Thinking is the hardest work there is, which is probably the reason why so few engage in it. Henry Ford. One of the greatest challenges to becoming totally free is to be able to think independently from everyone else. You know instinctively no one cares about you as much as you care about yourself. Yet we constantly listen to others about what is best for us instead of thinking about what is best for us. That is because we live in a world where everybody tells you what to think, but no one tells you how to think. We are blasted every day with advertising, financial sales pitches. Sometimes you wish people didn't agree with you all the time. At MF Global, we tell you what's good for you. Political media propaganda, religious dictates, and more and more social pressure to conform. Most of our lives, we do not make any real decisions. We just kind of fall into a routine. You see, when you really don't think, you leave your mind open to people who do think. The real and most often unnoticed danger is a class of predators manipulating societies for their own selfish benefits. If you go along to get along and not think outside of the box, you risk being caught in the undertow of a doomed society or worse. There is a lot of money and power derived off of having a sucker born every day. Our elite molds societies by educating people just enough to run the machine, but never enough to ask if this is the best machine for us. Think about it. Our controlled school system teaches sex, drugs, and multiculturalism in the third, fourth, and fifth grades, and not even how to balance a checkbook by high school. The elite system wants utterly dependent people to control for power and profit. They do not want fully aware people who can see through the mainstream media lies, the Wall Street Ponzi schemes, or federal abuses. They certainly do not want people educating others to our common plight of this illusion. Do your thoughts serve to free you, or simply to make you freely serve? Your thoughts are not your own. If you ever wonder why Americans are broke, depressed, and lifeless, look no further than whose thoughts they are thinking. If they are listening to the elite's financial conmen, they are constantly stripped of their wealth through a myriad of schemes. If they are listening to the elite's mainstream media, they are depressed about the national problems because they are too big and the experts say that there is no hope, or worse, hope is coming someday. If they're listening to the elite's medical community, they're hooked on psychotropic drugs, they will never get their fire back by tackling their life's challenges. The elite give us the illusion of freedom, but control all of the choices. The elite give us the choice of 500 cable stations, and yet the same message comes from every one of those channels. They give us aisles and aisles of food, and yet 90% of it is just corn and soy byproducts. They give us the choice of hundreds of political candidates. Yet nothing changes because both sides are bought and paid for by the elite. They give you the choice of investment of stocks, bonds, and real estate. But when this all goes down, you will see that it's all part of the same illusion of the dollar. This paradigm is controlled by the elite. And if you don't think independently for yourselves, you cannot help but to be controlled, whether you know it or not. Every aspect of your life is monitored, regulated, taxed, and controlled, not for your betterment, but for the betterment of others. To do most high-paying jobs requires a certification or a license. That's a form of control. Most assets that you have or own outright are not yours. Try not paying property taxes on a home that you own outright, and I'll show you who the real owner is. All your communications are monitored and recorded. Now the federal government wants these records to be kept indefinitely. Do you think you own your 401k? Try getting your money out. Or how about the stocks that you own outright? The fact is, the DTCC, the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, owns all of the stocks that are traded. If you want to do anything to your home, you better get permission from the Homeowner Association or the local zoning board. All these examples, plus many, many more, have nothing to do with making your life better. They exist to create power, profit, and a parasitic life for somebody else. Let's take a more detailed look at this. Our entire life is a rigged game designed to keep us down. We are fed consumerism, taught that we have no purpose, taught to obey, medicated with alcohol or drugs, early pregnancy is glorified, poor diets with fast food. Because of a poor education, people have a lack of vision. We have unhealthy relationships. We're entertained and not really educated. Divorce is a huge setback for many people. With this economy, we're faced with dead-end jobs. An entitlement mentality. We were trained to work for the government. 
People are saddled with credit card debt, auto debt, mortgage debt, student debt. People are driven to attain worthless diplomas, to become licensed professionals. And once they find some sort of success, they're marked with progressive taxation. They could become a legal target. If they create a business, they're forced to deal with increasing regulations and scrutiny. And then after they're all done, they're faced with the death tax. And regardless of what level of society that you're at, you're faced with federal debt, state debt, local debt, corporate bailouts, weak economy, bank failures, energy dependence, inflation, outsourced jobs, wars, political distractions, illegal immigrants, propaganda, popping of asset bubbles, genetically modified food, cancer, rising health insurance, and most dangerous of all, other ignorant people. At the root of all these traps, there is an elite that has created, perpetuated, and profited off of this reality. And yet, if people were truly to see how the world functions, they would see that the elite are unnecessary, along with their traps. There are 7 billion people in this world. It is crazy to think that less than 10,000 people control this paradigm. Yet, this is only possible when the elite convince the 7 billion people that, that they need the elite and the institutions that they run. Our problems start and stop with us. We are stronger than they are, and they know it. They lack any personal or relationship skills to work with others without the threat of force. Their most powerful weapon is the lie, the lie that they convince us to believe. Start seeing the world as it is and think for yourself.